time continues to tick away as our school districts scramble to get armed security for our students before the next school year. But in addition to the cost of cops, there's a cost to your community safety too. 10 Investigates Noah Pransky uncovers how the focus on schools could reduce community safety and increase the time it takes to respond to some calls. It's a police department that prides itself on doing things the right way. In Palmetto, we spend more time with people than engage them a little more and actually hear their problems. But it's hard to sustain. When we lose somebody, for us, you know, it affects everybody, you know, in the department. Fewer officers means fewer patrols, fewer minutes to spend on each call, fewer quick responses. 51. And there may soon be fewer Palmetto police officers. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. We need more law enforcement presence at our public schools. The state's mandate of an officer in every school shocked an already stressed system. It's hard to recruit and train new cops. So when you must fill SRO jobs in a short amount of time, you look to existing cops, sometimes from neighboring departments. And this is going to not just create a few positions, but, but many positions in these counties. And I think there's going to be a trickle down effect with smaller agencies um, that may not pay as competitively as some of the bigger ones do. Palmetto Police Chief Scott Tyler is once again preparing for the inevitable, losing good officers to agencies that pay more. While Palmetto starts officers at 37, 675 a year, the Manatee Sheriff's Office offers 24% more. Sarasota and Hillsborough, 35% more and they all need dozens, in some cases, hundreds of new deputies each. So now that, you know, virtually everybody's hiring, that can translate in the way calls are handled, that can translate into liability issues and things like that. And I think all of us, especially those in smaller agencies that aren't as competitive, we're concerned about that. But no agency, small or large, is immune. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office tells me they have to pull deputies off the street to fill the immediate need in schools. Winter Haven Police say the same. And Northport is increasing its police salaries by 15% so they can recruit and retain officers better too. Then there are agencies like the St. Petersburg Police Department, whose chief, Anthony Holloway, told 10 Investigates he was going to have to pull officers out of their gang units to work in the schools. But due to public outcry, Mayor Kreisman took a bold step Tuesday morning, refusing to staff the city's elementary schools. If the school district now can't hire security guards by August, they can hire St. Pete Police on detail, which would take even more money they weren't allocated. Meanwhile, St. Pete PD is still looking for more good cops. I'll probably try to hire as many certified officers as I can, so I may find one of those small agencies say, hey, you want to come to St. Pete? It's the circle of life in local law enforcement, but both chiefs tell us the feeding frenzy could have been avoided with a more gradual timetable. But we're all in this together, and, um, you know, the priority of the safety of our schools has always been paramount. You know, these are challenges, but we will somehow meet them. So this is most definitely a statewide issue. We've heard similar concerns from police chiefs and sheriffs from all over our region. And Noah, there's this funding challenge too. Countless local officials have complained that the state really didn't fully fund all of these new school resource jobs. Yeah, I've been talking to the governor's office all week about this. They told me today in response to those specific complaints that the school districts should use their reserves to pay for officers yeah. every single year, I guess, but not exactly your most traditional financial advice. Meanwhile, though, tomorrow the governor is going to continue to talk about uh, school funding. He's got these new, two new made-for-TV press events taking place in Boca Raton and Naples. He'll be touting two million more dollars in funding for school security at Jewish day schools.